Amgen scientists are researching a new generation of erythropoiesis stimulating hormones. Through ongoing research and evaluation of proteins, scientists are exploring the relationship between the sialic acid content and biological activity of molecules. Their search is designed to improve upon current anemia management. Efforts to understand how red blood cell formation is controlled in the human body began in the mid-19th century. In 1983, Amgen scientists Dr. Fu Quin Lin cloned and characterized the human erythropoietin gene. With the sequence of the human erythropoietic gene in hand, Dr. Lin and his team of scientists at Amgen produced recombinant human erythropoietin, which has proved useful as a safe and effective therapeutic product for the correction of anemia. Amgen scientists developed a recombinant human EPO, epoietin alpha. Ipoetin alpha has four carbohydrate chains that contain up to a total of 14 sialic acid residues. The molecule weighs approximately 30 kilodaltons and is 40% carbohydrate. Ipoetin alpha binds to the EPO receptor on erythroid cell membranes. Through the processes of signal transduction, epoetin alpha, bound to its receptor, stimulates the proliferation, differentiation, and survival of red blood cell precursors. The mean half-life of epoetin alpha is 8.5 hours. Precursors of human red blood cells depend almost exclusively on the renal production of the hormone erythropoietin for proliferation, differentiation, and survival. Burst-forming unit erythroid cells need erythropoietin to proliferate and differentiate into colony-forming unit erythroid cells. In turn, colony-forming unit erythroid cells need erythropoietin to survive. These cells are naturally programmed to die by apoptosis. Erythropoietin prevents apoptosis, allowing the cells to survive, mature, and synthesize hemoglobin. Erythropoietin binds to cell surface receptors on erythroid precursor cells, allowing them to proliferate, survive, and mature into red blood cells. The activated erythropoietin receptor dimer complex is thought to transmit signals via the JAK-STAT pathway to the cell nucleus. These signals modulate nuclear control of cell maturation and hemoglobin synthesis. Amgen scientists discovered that RHU EPO isoforms with up to 14 sialic acids appear to confer a longer serum half-life than isoform RHU EPO with fewer sialic acids. Moreover, serum half-life, not receptor affinity, appears to be the primary determinant of the biological activity of the molecule. Amgen scientists therefore hypothesized that if the molecule could be modified to contain more sialic acid residues, then greater in vivo activity would result. With this idea, Amgen scientists continue to research into molecules with additional sialic acid residues that may result in a longer elimination half-life and greater biological activity. In one circumstance, by using the process of site-directed mutagenesis, Five amino acid changes resulted in a molecule having additional carbohydrate chains compared to RHU EPO. These additional carbohydrate chains permit the attachment of additional sialic acid residues so that the molecule can contain up to 22 sialic acid residues. One candidate weighs approximately 37 kilodaltons and is 51% carbohydrate. The major challenges when designing these molecules are to increase sialic acid content while preserving the tertiary configuration and EPO receptor binding sites. Research continues in ways to enhance biological activity. Positioning the sialic acid containing carbohydrates was challenging. Added carbohydrate chains could not interfere with receptor binding nor could they alter the shape of proteins. Amgen scientists are working to ensure that rationally designed alterations in protein structure and conformation are minimal and that protein stability and activity are maintained. These rationally designed molecules are designed to preserve the internal helical structure of erythropoietin. Although biochemically distinct from RHU EPO, these proteins appear to stimulate the EPO receptor in the same way as RHU EPO. 
by strategically positioning the additional sialic acid containing carbohydrate chains on protein, Amgen scientists are seeking to increase the biological activity without disrupting receptor binding. Changes in the tertiary structure were minimized to ensure that stability and activity are maintained. We are hopeful that this research at Amgen will ultimately address some of the current and critical unmet needs in the treatment of anemia, including frequency of dosing, the fact that some patient populations may be negatively affected by modest responses, relatively slow responses, and blood transfusions. By using innovative biotechnology, Amgen is dedicated to discovering new breakthrough treatments to address unmet patient needs and to improve patients' lives.